that'll squirt out the ground there. Looks like it's a little bit greasy out there. And Misty here's done a wash. And here's a breakaway by Uganda. As I said, they've got some speed. And JC Pistorius hunting down as he usually does. Oh, he's missed that one. And the first points of the day are going to go to Uganda. Awesome. Seventh rugby is just like that. South Africa doing all the play for the last three and a half minutes. South African penalty, they'll take it quick, yeah. Bit of space down the left side, but looking to take it right up the middle and then bring it back. Chris tries all alone on this right touch line. There he goes. Seviwe, Soyazwapi, second touch of the day. And he gets to trot over the try line. And that'll bring the game to a close. Great late clean there by Zim, and they've got a chance now if they're able to move that ball. Turn over again. Right, so Kenya get a chance to break away, and all of that end to end play means that we've got some seriously heavy legs in the defense, and nobody's going to chase him down to the try line. So, all right, let's slow down for a second. That was uh, a little bit sloppy. Some open player there and able to throw the ball around and move it left. Uh, Monday will be recovery day. Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday would be focusing on team preparation, conditioning. Um, and also in the evenings, we've got shared economy uh, for the management where we take them through preparation. Uh, maybe through we can open this up. Um, and maybe one could, could, you know, this is the start of the, the World Rugby Sevens Academy program. Who knows? Who knows? And that'll be so exciting to watch. And we'll definitely be keeping our thumb on that. Steph, now and last. But they've, they've got the ability to, to run, run and step and move really well. Pinpoint kickoff there by Justin Fiddle. That's a really, really lovely restart. And just as we mentioned earlier, the restart playing. Just as an important role as a set piece, and that's a lovely yeah. kick out wide to James Murphy. Showing some good speed oh, there. Nice Looks like to see themselves as uh, victors of this game already. I don't know that they need to work. This is the match here with the ball. Just trying to get out of there, 22. Still running really strong. Still showing a lot of good fight. This has been really physical up front, but Zim throwing the ball around a little bit here. Keeping it alive, that's great stuff. There's a bit of space on the outside, 2v1, ball's right. been moved. Off to Easy the race. get around. Lovely, he's got one more to beat, just Carl on the outside, he's gonna get there. Looks like right. he'll get in. Okay, put it down, play. Let's get back for that kick and play some more. Three minutes left. Uganda still hanging on to the ball. What are they going to do is ball in hand? They've been dangerous so far. We want to make those first time tackles on them. Can't give them this much space. There's a little bit of space on the outside. Ball to the wing. He's going to try and go around him. Is he going to get there? Yes. Skips through the tackle. Uganda in for another score this game. See if Zimbabwe compete. They've got the two men in the front, one at the back. This box working back, a little lob ball over the top. It works out well for them to get it away. Two, looks like Branko to Priyan in the middle. Short ball, hangs on to it. Who's this Ruan now breaking through? Is, are they going to bring him in? It's a race to the end, and Ruan going to go through for his first score of the game. I'll put Blitzbox ahead, 5 0. 